What is up, team? I'm about to do a pretty light set of calf raise type exercises. And I thought I would just come on and tell you a little bit about one of the ways I'm finessing my calf raises. Calf raises are great for strengthening your feet, your ankles, your calves, obviously. Um, this entire complex that needs stabilizing and mobilizing, it's just so critical. Weak feet are epidemic. I am a recovering, chronically weak-footed person, so I know from experience the upstream effects, the cascade of negative consequences it has on your physical strength um, overall from experience. One of the things I'm starting to incorporate in my calf raises, a lot of times you'll hear like bent leg versus straight leg, targeting your gas stop versus your soleus, all right, all right, all right. That's pretty big picture and it's a great place to start. Do something. But another thing you can think about is the relationship on muscles that are deep to your calf that cross into the foot, like the calf, uh, the soleus and gastric do as well via the Achilles tendon, but other muscles that also relate not just to the plantar and dorsiflexion aspect of your foot, but also the inversion and eversion with respect to the heel and rear foot and midfoot of your of your, <laughs> your foot. <laughs> Okay, the heel and mid of your foot. So those muscles wrap under almost like an oppos opposing little nest that they make. One, the tibialis posterior, attaches to the highest point of your foot and then cups under and inserts to nine different places under the plantar surface of your foot to hoist up and pull the foot into a supinated position. The other that we're talking about is, one, is your peroneal group, at least peroneus longus and brevis, not tertius but peroneus and brevis wrap under, come around the outside edge of the foot, cross under the foot, and attach, yes, my feet are dirty because I just taught a barefoot class in a studio, uh, attach under that first ray, which is the, the bar of your, uh, of your big toe, which is the comparable equivalent to the thumb of your hand. It has similar anatomical origin, and that, those muscles are gonna pull the foot into this position, a pronated position. We need to be able to do both, Right? Pronation gets a lot of hate, but that's only uncontrolled pronation, just like uncontrolled supination would not be a good thing. Anything in your body that's not muscularly controlled, any joint action that is a form of collapse is gonna have is not good for the joints and it's gonna have negative consequences. You want all your joints to be muscularly supported within the ligamentous and tendinous infrastructure that you otherwise have. I'm gonna show you calf raises that emphasize tibialis posterior conditioning for that strong supination and post and peroneus longus in particular training to get the strong active pronation because each time you take a step you are going over your heel down roughly down just generally speaking the outer edge of your foot and pushing off over the big and middle toe so you want to be able to do this with each step and you need to have a lift here to not roll too far, just like you need to be active on this side to not just collapse to the outside, okay? You want it to be super strong and powerful through the middle. Let's do our set. Three minutes in. Okay, so your peroneals, and again, this is super, I'm just gonna do this very generally. I will rep it out and kill, fry, fry, fry my calves when I do this for real, and I'm not gonna do that today. But I just wanted to show you, so for the peroneus version, you can take a wider stance that I have here, um, but just to be in frame, I like a little bit of turnout because it's cascading my legs into that ankle roll territory, and that's these are our anti-ankle roll muscles uh, for that lateral, the very common lateral ankle roll, right? When you spill your ankle this way as opposed to this way. So turning out, and again, I'm not in great form because I'm bending over to be able to <laughs> see what I have on the screen here, but you're gonna come up and you're gonna push from that pinky toe across the metatarsal heads of your of your toes, your digits, towards the big toe. And you're not gonna let it spill over, you're gonna control so that you go from outer edge of the foot, gentle control up over, and again, your, your maximum intensity is right here and you don't let it spill, but you really, you decelerate into that supinated position and then you concentrically contract into the uh, more strongly pronated direction of the foot. Slow and up. For tibialis posterior, we're doing something kind of the opposite. We're gonna start with our feet neutral. We're gonna drive up through the floor, and then we're gonna give that strong inversion feeling as that heel, imagine again, that cup of a muscle pulling up deep to the calf, anchoring it up, and it's gonna give you this 
almost, it's not a flick, okay? I don't want it to be an empty movement like a flick, but the movement itself is this. So see how those legs spiral, the heels spiral in? Neutral, come up and pull in, lifting your arch. Again, not letting it roll anywhere dangerous. You can see I'm trying to get some active toe splay. My right toe is splay better than my left. Pull up, pull for more arch. Okay, I'm essentially lifting my arch and it's that supinated feeling. Pull and supinate in plantar flexion. Decelerate your pronation into your dorsiflected foot on the ground position and go. All right, guys, so to, like I said, <laughs> I'm not doing this um, the way I would necessarily for the actual exercise because I do, need to do them with a lot of mindfulness. Like, I don't mess around. I really uh, carefully control the slow up and slow down, and my feet are stronger than they've ever been. I think a great place to start, all kinds of foot strengthening exercises you can do. Um, some that are a little bit more recreational than others, right? Just heel, toe, dance, you know, just activate your feet. Get barefoot, activate your feet. When you want to start finessing it a little bit, you can be more precise about what you're strengthening. And I think these two add a whole other layer of benefit over the basic gastroc soleus calf strengthening. You feel me? I'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, you're always doing this, but it's just if you're doing it mindfully.